Dina, if if you were to evaluate a program now, uh, if you had a chance to, you know, because as soon as I emailed you to ask if you would be a part of this, you said, boy, lots of people are asking me about this all the time. Um, and so, so as they ask you about it, um, are there some things that you tell them to look for, to, to, to look out for um, as they evaluate programs? What, what do you think there? What should, what should people look for as they evaluate a program now? I think the first thing people should look for is, um, or look to, is inward at their own values, at their own um, sort of purpose. I posted a, you know, a link to this talk and I, I mentioned disruptors and institutionalists. Um, know which one you identify as. Uh, look for uh, what you expect to learn and be able to differentiate what you're going to actually learn because when we use words like traditional or legacy, uh, they do exactly what they're intended to do. That language is meant to exclude by omitting. Um, and so for, for people who don't look like um, folks who have had generational experience in a particular program, like, a, like an MBA or, or PhD program, um, they're going to be disruptors even when they don't intend to be, mm. even when I didn't intend to, to um, introduce diversity, I couldn't help it just by showing up. Mm. Uh, and so the question was how that program was going to respond and whether it was going to be inclusive. And it's not a brand you can put on your program as we're an inclusive program because it's, got to be coming from actions and for candidates in a in any academic program it is really up to us up to you to keep asking the question are you showing me that i belong are you making it easier to feel included um, those are the things to look for it's not it's not an easy skill and that's where uh, Carl brought up mentors earlier, mentors, allies. Mm -hmm. Mandy mentioned allies. Um, the allies, you'll recognize them because they've got some privilege and they recognize it. Um, and they are working on how to use it uh, to create more inclusive spaces. Mm -hmm. So those mm -hmm. are the things to look for.